Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 436. If you are writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book you've started or maybe you need help promoting your book, you are in the right place. Good morning, happy Saturday, June 20th. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Muhammad Ali. And once again, good morning. Happy Saturday, June 20th. And you'll find out in a moment why that date is significant. Now, one piece of advice that I've given authors time and time again regarding the marketing of their books is don't simply go on social media and say, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book, (laughs) over and over and over. Having a normal, non-pushy conversation with your readers is a much better idea. That being said, here are five reasons why you should buy my book today. (laughs) In my defense, by the way, I've been having normal, non-pushy conversations all throughout my content about my memoir, The Power of the Curve, for the better part of three years now. So I hope you'll kind of cut me some slack here, and I'm going to be pushy now and say, buy my book, (laughs) especially since today is actually, finally, my launch day. Yes, The Power of the Curve is available on Amazon. Would love for you to get a copy. Thank you in advance. And here are five reasons that you might want to do so. Number five, because we can never consume too many stories of the human spirit overcoming all the obstacles thrown in its way, right? I know I could hear stories like this forever, and I'm sure it's no coincidence that my own life story resembles that statement. Counting down number four. Because if you're an entrepreneur or a fellow business owner like myself, you will most likely be able to relate to those particular curves in my book. There are many curves in my book. The scoliosis is the first one, but so many. I, don't, I, I have a very curvy life. Anyway, I, I think you'll, if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, you'll be able to relate to those curves in my book, the ones where I was only footsteps away from the failure of my business, the heartbreaking decisions I had to make for it to survive, and how I ultimately turned it all around. Number three, you might want to get a copy of my book today also so you can learn how to find power and strength in your personal life curves. We've all got curves. It's an inevitable part of life. Now, wouldn't it be nice to learn how to flip the script and find power in them? My book shares with you how I did that and how you can too. Number two, Because 2020 is literally the year of the curve. I don't know if this is official, like on the Chinese calendar, but 2020, I've decided, is the year of the curve. (laughs) Something I never could have anticipated, by the way, when scheduling my launch for this time in history. Uh, Just so you know, I set this date last fall, and I did it to coincide with National Scoliosis Awareness Month, of course, the power of the curve. That's the whole scoliosis thing. June is National Scoliosis Awareness Month. And then 2020 just kind of happened around it. But believe me, the themes in my book could not be a better match. This is one of those kismet moments, but I truly hope it will help those of you struggling this year. And there are also some special messages in my book for those of you who are waiting for things to, quote unquote, go back to normal. I talk about what happened in my life when I tried to do that once, and I tried to kind of throw life's curves into reverse and go back to what it was. So I don't know how, but somehow my book just landed right in the middle of this year, and everything in it is somehow connected to it. It's really strange. Anyway, number one. The number one reason you might want to consider getting a copy of my book today, I promise you that I have opened up my heart and soul in this thing. I have not held back at all. I did this for you, for all of you, especially for my clients, to finally walk the walk that I have been taking my clients through for nearly 19 years now. 
And it was an incredible journey. And I will admit, <laughs> very seriously admit, it was not always easy following my own advice and to truly, truly share my life vulnerably, vulnerably and not hold back. But I sucked it up and I did it really. It was very, very important for me to walk the walk so that when I'm working with my memoir clients, I think some of you know I've, I've published four books before this, but this is my first memoir and that's the main type of book that I help clients with, whether as a book coach or a ghostwriter. So this was very, very important for me from a place of integrity and from just a place of fascination and curiosity. I really wanted to go through this process so I can better understand my clients as they go through it. And wow, <laughs> so many lessons, but I hope it inspires you to be brave in your own storytelling. So there's my top five list. I would be truly honored if you, you would get yourself a copy of my book today on Amazon, The Power of the Curve by me, Christine Whitmarsh, or you can just go to powerofthecurve.com and we'll get you over to Amazon to get yourself a copy. It's on Kindle and paperback. Thank you so much. And thank you as always for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all until tomorrow. Happy writing.